what's good y'all is gas and this is how you make beats for margins let's go all right so y'all are probably wondering where i've been why i keep leaving y'all for like months and months and months and going mia i ain't gonna lie bro Plug. All right, so these Majin's beats, you usually want to do like 150, 160 for the BPM. And before we get into it, this is going to be like more of a Rex type of beat than anything. It's not really going to be like a step team thing. So if y'all want a separate like step team tutorial, let me know. All right, so sound selection, you usually want to just grab like some sort of poly synth that sounds like kind of like weird, I guess. All right, so let me show y'all some sauce for these chords. Basically, I feel like people overcomplicate the chords a lot. And especially for these Majin's beats, you really don't got to do nothing crazy. That could be our starting chord right there. And for those of y'all who don't know, this is literally just the ninth chord. Ninth chord is like one of the most basic chords you can make. It's literally just like three gaps in between these notes, two gaps, and then three gaps. And these Majin's beats usually have some sort of like triplet bounce to them. So if you go up here to this magnet and select one third step, then that's gonna help you with that triplet bounce. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this second chord and just drag it over four of these little like bar segments. I don't know what to call them. And now we'll have a lot more of a bouncier chord. And from here, I just go off what I hear from the chord. Like I hear ben -a, ben -a. So I'm just gonna go off that. And just like that, we have our progression. As y'all can see, it's literally just two chords for the most part. Uh, I feel like the most important thing is these spaces between the beats to establish some sort of bounce. And this is what it sounds like. And now I wanna layer this a bit. So I'm probably gonna grab like some sort of arp or a pluck or something. So I switched up a few things. First things first, uh, this JV1080 preset, it used to be like a different preset. Now it's saw mass. Uh, and I also went into Hive, grabbed this old Joe pluck preset and layered literally the same exact progression, just deleted this one note here. And then I went back into Hive and grabbed this one ARP. I think it's called Omnicordia or Omnicorda, whatever and layered everything just stretched out the notes so that the arp lasted for longer and everything together sounds like this So I just went back into Hive, uh, went into the poly leads and grabbed this rattle preset. It's like a sign lead basically. And uh, just laid out this little pattern. It's pretty much just this like small little rhythm repeating over and over again with a little bit of variation. I feel like the key for these Majin beats is you just want the shit to be catchy. You don't have to be all over the place and doing this, doing that. To be honest, if you just, if you just get something catchy and you just have it repeating, it's gonna sound good. And I feel like I say this every video, but it helps me so much. If y'all are struggling with a melody and you just don't know what else to add, like you're not getting any ideas, highlight everything like this just by clicking and dragging down. Then go to this little drop down right here, transpose selected. And then if you want to go down, you can do minus and then one if you want to go down one. Or you could just do one if you want to go up one. And then it'll just sound like an entirely new melody. And that helps me so much with getting new ideas. So now we have this.
I might come back to the melody, but for now, I think I'm just gonna add some drums. And I haven't dropped a stash kit in like three years, so I've been working on a new one for y'all. If y'all want that, get this video to 300 likes, I'll drop it ASAP, I swear. So I just finished up the drums. I'm gonna do a real quick breakdown. So started with this open hat and literally all I did is I right clicked on the sound and did fill each eight steps. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put one each eight of these little like notches here starting on the one. And it's just a rhythm thing. I had it pretty quiet. In the mix. Just the same thing repeating over and over again. And then I had this hi hat, which pretty generic hi-hat. It's basically a two-step just with some rolls and some notes taken out just because like I've been saying this whole time, the keys are bounce and catchiness. You want this shit to bounce and you want it to be catchy. And the way to do that is to add rolls where you see fit and take out some of the notes so it can bounce. But the only part where I really did anything I guess crazy would be just this little like triplet pattern at the end right here just to kind of vary it. And then I had this clap super generic clap just like one note on the three and the seven right where you would usually have it and then just one note in between just to kind of add a tiny bit of bounce and i just had that literally repeating every two bars it's the same thing and then i had a few chants if y'all listen to the majin's beats then usually there are a good amount of chants in there so i just added this one and then there was one other one that i added just on the one of each two bar and then I had this little like record scratch sound effect where I had pretty much everything in the beat stopping just to make it a tiny bit more bouncy. And then I had this 808 pattern, which is super simple, same note playing over and over again, just trying to get that bounce down. So all the drums together sound like this. And I did make one more addition, which was this little piano solo, pretty much a lead pattern. And I literally used FL keys. So it's not like you need any fancy preset, literally used FL keys. And I just had a pretty repetitive pattern with the exception of like one or two notes maybe. And it sounds like this. So everything together sounds like this. Now let's arrange the beat. I just finished up the arrangement. I'm gonna break it down for y'all. So I started off with just the melody for like basically two bars, but I had this little like stutter thing with the, uh, the record scratch that sounds like this. And then I dropped the drums out for the last two bars of this like, I guess a little pre-hook. And I had the last portion of this little lead pattern just to lead it back into it. And other than that, nothing too crazy. Just cutting out the drums at some places to give it a little more bounce and faded it out with an automation. And that is the beat. And that's gonna be the beat y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed or if you learned something, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Thank y'all so much for 5K. And comment below what y'all wanna see. I got some more tutorials on the way for y'all. I love y'all so much. Make sure y'all join the Discord, link in the description. Make sure y'all follow my socials, Instagram. I need IG Cloud, please. And this is Big